In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate and measure using the MicroCapture Plus application for Mac. And in this example, we're going to use Mac OS Catalina and the ProScope EDU 100 as our microscope. Um, so the first thing you need to do is make sure you stay consistent with the resolution that you're capturing to uh, because that resolution is going to be critical critical for what we calibrate to as well so make sure you stay consistent there um, so the first thing you need to do is put a ruler on the stage of the proscope edu make sure you get into focus um, from there we need to capture an image so we'll just click on this photo button at the upper left hand cor corner um, you'll see a thumbnail show up in the upper right hand corner Let's double click on that captured image, which brings it up into the editor. Uh, from there, we need to now calibrate to this picture so that any subsequent pictures that we capture at this focal distance will be in calibration and we'll, and we'll know that the measurement is accurate. So the first thing to do is we need to click on the calibration function. Click here for calibration. And then we need to choose a particular reference here on this picture as to what we want to calibrate to. So in this case, I think I'm going to calibrate to one, two, three, four, five millimeters. So to do that, click on the left edge of this hash mark, drag over, click on the left edge of this hash mark. So you'll notice that the millimeter readout is incorrect because we know that it's five millimeters, but a dialog box shows up up top and says, okay, we know we want to measure in, in millimeters. That's our unit measurement. Tell us what the actual dimension is. So we know it's 5.0 millimeters. So type that into the box, then click OK. From there, you can go to one of the measurement tools. We should be calibrated now. So we're, we're going to go ahead and check that. So we're going to click on one of the measurement tools in this case, I'll use the Any Angle Line tool, and we're going to just double check our calibration. So we're going to click on the left edge here, we're going to drag across, and we're going to release here on the left edge of this hash mark. So you can see that it shows up as 5.006 millimeters, so we're only off by 6 microns, which is, you know, more than likely human error and probably irrelevant, you know, measuring that small. So if you want to clear the screen and measure uh, again, maybe a shorter length, go ahead and click the undo button here. Click to the left edge again of this hash mark. Let's just measure one millimeter. That comes out pretty good, 1.011 millimeters. Again, we're off by 11 microns. Very insignificant difference. Um, let's go ahead and click uh, again. Let's do three millimeters. Again, 3.021, um, and then again, we'll click, we'll go to six millimeters. So we're at 6.004 millimeters. So again, fairly insignificant uh, difference. Um, I would say that you're well calibrated and ready to take pictures and measure new pictures as needed. Um, again, we can click the undo to get rid of whatever measurements we don't want. And then when you close the picture, it's going to ask you to save it. So I'm going to go ahead. If I want to go ahead and save this picture with this measurement embedded into the picture, I'm going to click on save. We're going to give it a new name. Let's just say it's uh, uh, ruler with measurement. If I could type here. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and choose a location of our choosing. Um, I'm just going to choose the desktop in this case and then click Save. Um, so now the picture shows up. If I double click on that picture on my desktop and bring it into view here, we'll see that the picture now shows up with that measurement embedded. So if you didn't like that and wanted to go back and do it again, you still have the captured ruler here. You can, or any other captured pick that you might have, go ahead and double click that again, bring it into the viewer, and 
your your calibration should still be good um, but you can now go ahead and you know put other measurements on screen let's just double check there's a five millimeter span and yes that shows up as 5.000 millimeters so we are spot on in this case so i hope this helps uh thanks for watching